Hey everyone, it's Megan here, and today I am filming my empty video for March. And you guys all agreed on my last video that I uploaded when it was kind of at the middle of the month that you guys like it better at the middle of the month just because um, towards the end of the month our news feeds get clogged of Project Pan Update monthly empties. Um, monthly favorites just all that stuff gets kind of clogged together so I'm going to start uploading these videos at the middle of each month so it's kind of going to be the last month's um, empties towards the last month and at the beginning of March empties all combined together so it's still going to be called March empties though but I'm just going to start doing them in the middle of each month so it's going to be like half of these half of this month's um, empties plus kind of a half of last month's empties combined together and each month it's going to start being like that just so um, this video goes out a little bit earlier. So let's just get started. I have everything in my Tom's bag as usual. I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. This is the Dove um, deodorant. You guys know I use deodorant all the time. This is the cucumber scent. Nothing really special about that because I put that in empties every single month. Um, and it's a 10 out of 10. The next thing is the Sea Breeze Facial Lotion. And this is with blended, it's blended with natural ingredients. And I found this at Walmart for a dollar on clearance. And I'm pretty sure Sea Breeze is a low, low end brand for like Walmart or any type of drugstore. And um, I actually love this. This is my hands down, my favorite, favorite, favorite facial lotion I have ever used. And I'm pretty sure they don't even make this anymore. I think that's why it was on clearance for a dollar. But if I could find this on eBay or Amazon, or something I think I honestly will repurchase this because this is my favorite facial lotion I have ever used and it was for one dollar so at that time I didn't know I was going to love it that much or I wish I would have picked up more than one um, the next thing I finished up is a Venice Dolce Berry Body Lotion, and this was in my 7x Spring. It smelled exactly like berries. Three are uh, Pretty and Plus 365 actually sent this to me. Um, it was amazing. It smelled exactly like berries. It was super yummy, and I would recommend any type of Bath & Body Works fragrance. Um... The next thing I finished up is the Clinique Take the Day Off um, Makeup Remover, and this is like something I want to repurchase so much. Um, I think the full size is like eighteen fifty or somewhere around there. I want this so bad. I think I honestly will repurchase this because this is the only eye makeup remover I have ever used that does not burn the shit out of my eyes. Because anytime I use one, they burn my eyes so bad. Like there's rubbing alcohol or something in it. That's what it feels like. I'm like rubbing my eyes on fire. But this was amazing. I would recommend this hands down 10 out of 10 I think out of all these products I have finished using up that month this is like one of my like hands down favorite the next thing I finished up is a Sally Hansen extreme wear nail polish and this is in strobe lights and this was my favorite um, nail polish like my top five nail polishes I had this is um, in that category it kind of like dried out there's no product left I can't get anything left like it's just all goopy and gross I need to repurchase this because like I'm sad I used it up but I have never used up a nail polish that makes me feel really good at the same time but I have to repurchase this because again it's just my favorite um, shade and it's kind of like a bronzy pinky golden shade it's so pretty and I would recommend and strobe lights to anybody you can put it over in nail polish or do a couple coats on its own and it's still beautiful either way um the next thing I finished up or well, actually didn't finish using up it actually went old on me this is the vanilla berry sherbet um, hand sanitizer and listen to this it's so gross it's so liquidy like look at that go Ooh. Um, hand sanitizers are supposed to be a little bit thicker than that and it's just super old I have so many hand sanitizers that I just need to use I honestly probably have 13 or 14 hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works so this one went old on me before I could finish using it up but at least it was like more than halfway done so I don't feel super bad about it going bad on me Plus, I think these are only like $1.50, so not that big of a deal. The next thing I finished using up is the e.l.f. concealer, and I used this in a video. I'll put the link down below. You guys can see how I use this product. Um, I cover up my acne with this because I have super bad acne, believe it or not. It's not really acne anymore. It's more scars, and this does great at covering that up, and that video actually got lots of views. Go me, but I'll put that link down below so you guys can go check it out and see how I use this product. It's how I cover up my acne video but um, I talk about this product and kind of give a short review and then I use it um, in the video but this is a great um, concealer I think it's definitely 10 out of 10 in my book it's only two dollars and I would recommend it um, the only bad thing is is the P 
pan is so small that you don't get a lot of product so it's kind of like um kind of like a tease I guess you would say because this white kind of place or like a rim looks kind of big but it's not because you don't get that much product then I have two lip liners and these things are complete crap. You guys know I'm like the most hoarderish person when it comes to makeup. I don't like to throw away any makeup, but honestly, I don't even care that I throw these away. They're a dollar piece and they're just horrible. Honestly, they dry out your lips. The colors are not good whatsoever. Um, I bought them online a while ago and I just can't bring myself to use them. I try to use them up in my project pan videos and I just couldn't do it. I honestly just have to throw them away. They're just honestly crap. I would not recommend e.l.f. lip liners to nobody. They're bad, pretty bad. Then I have the chapstick and this is in cake batter. I finished using this up. I use it up all the time. Like I go through chapstick like nobody else's business because I like my lips to be very moisturized. Um, even though you guys don't see this in videos like me applying chapstick, I'm always applying chapstick before I do my makeup. Um, cake batter is the only one I ever use. I don't like the cherry or the strawberry like most people like. Cake batter is my favorite. I find it at Walmart for $1 and I think I finished up like two or three of those tubes. And the last product is my MUA Makeup Academy Hide Everything Concealer. And this is how much I have left. Not a lot whatsoever. I just have to get rid of it because it's just not that good. I don't really like it. Like, in the beginning I did, but then once it starts getting, like, old, it just doesn't work as good. But in the beginning, I would say this has, like, a six-month um, time span life. But after that, it just goes all wonky and bad. And it creases under your eyes and kind of, like, gl not glows, but it just looks like cakey under the eye area it just does not look good but this is my whole march empties i hope you guys enjoy it thanks so much for watching have a wonderful day guys bye